Hey up lads, welcome back to the channel. This is your Man City vs Leicester City preview show. Yes, the game is on Sunday at half four. Premier League, massive clash between the two sides. Here to preview the show on the channel is Man City Fan TV's Andy. Enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, hop over to their channel as well. It's in the description. Enjoy it. I'll see you Sunday. Boom. You're top of the league. It's um, it's a bit weird that, especially because we've just got knocked out of the EFL Cup by Arsenal. Um, uh, to be honest, I wasn't too bothered about being knocked out of that cup because we've got Europa to worry about, we've got the Premier League to worry about, and I, I still want us to win the bloody FA Cup one day. So uh, I think more more important competitions than the 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 Mickey Mouse Cup, as it's called these days. Um. But yeah, top of the tree. Mad, mad. The last time we were top of the tree on the first two games, we won the bloody thing. So who knows? <laughs> well, I mean, we I, mean I, I mean, you've obviously mentioned there two players, Soyuncu and uh, Madison, which over the COVID summer and everything else, they were two players that you, you probably thought, mm, are they going to move? Are they going to, you know, I know the rumours were City were initially sniffing at uh, Soyuncu but then there's obviously Madison and things like that. Uh, but you've managed to keep hold of them. Have you have you actually improved the squad over over the uh, over the last few months? Yeah, I'd definitely say so. Um, we've signed uh, Timothy Castagna from Atlanta. Um, if you've never heard of him, he's Belgium international and works really well with Yuri Tillemans and David yeah. uh, Dennis Pratt. Uh, so we've now got a, a Belgium trio from that international side and my word he's he's walked in and oh, he's mustard i'm telling you uh, yeah. ricardo pro is gonna have trouble getting back at right back i'm telling you how good he's really? been yeah 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 he's a good player Pereira. very mm. very i know uh, this castagna uh, though mate is mustard yeah yeah mohammed i'm hard bruce lee mustard oh, oh really <laughs> yeah. we uh, we're gonna have some quick questions for each other we'll be on for about another sort of 20 minutes or so but uh let me just quickly just see who is on our channel. Uh, two Irish men are Oh, God, here we go. No jokes. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we're just bringing it up. My missus said to me, are you listening to me? Oh, God. They're all in it having jokes. Chris Baker and a few others. Uh, let me just see anybody else. Uh, no, they all look like they're telling jokes to each other. Yeah, I've just read one of your comments about another injury. Is that uh, is that Jesus yeah. out? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, look, well the rumours are... They've not put a specific time. It could be two weeks. It could be longer. Could be longer. Uh, mate, well, uh, we've, that, that's a massive loss for you. We've got a bigger loss, I think, for our team. And I think that's Ndidi. Uh, Wilfred yeah. Ndidi will be out for up to 12 weeks. Um, he's having surgery with a groin injury that he picked up uh, against Burnley. So... <sighs> Without him, um, luckily we've got Johnny Evans coming back at centre back. Yeah, he's because he's, I, is it? He was he on? A, did, did he have a red card? Yeah, that? that's right. On the last game against United, um, so he, he's coming back in. Luckily, as else we would have been in real big trouble. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's certainly a loss. We've got Aguero out for uh, rumours are up to two months more, um, so he's not going to come back now until. Maybe even the end of November. Uh, so uh, we've got now Jesus out, and uh, obviously midweek we played Bournemouth uh, in in the cup, and uh, uh, young Liam Delap, Rory Delap's uh, son, uh, only seventeen, he scored uh, on his debut, and uh, he lo he looks a very exciting kid. But you know we're talking about replacing a Jesus and an Aguero and. Uh, Maybe Pep said, maybe he'll wait and see. He'll wait and see, and uh, he's going to keep him with the squad, and he'll see whether he plays on Sunday uh, or whether he'll play a false nine. Uh, it, I'm being honest, I think he might play a false nine, but uh, with a Sterling there or something like that. But uh, you never know, this uh, young kid might get another opportunity against you guys. I don't know if you can go full screen, but that's my prediction is four for Leicester's lineup. Okay. I don't know if, if you can get that full Paris. screen or not. But that's an unchanged side, apart from that uh, Evans comes in for Ndidi at the back. So it'll be James Justin and Castagna on left and right, with uh, Soyuncu and Evans at centre-backs, with Mendy holding in the middle. Uh, Yuri Tillemans, Dennis Pratt, with a Harvey Barnes, who's really impressing at the minute on the left. Um, 
Brendan Rodgers is saying that he could potentially be as good, if not better, than Raheem Sterling at one day in his career. He's only 20. Really? I think he's only 21, I believe. Uh, Perez on the right. We all know who Ayo's Perez is. And uh, Mr. Jamie Vardy himself, the 33-year-old golden boot winner up top. Yeah, I mean, that looks... I mean... It's a, it's a very, very exciting, and actually in that lineup, looking at it now, very attacking, um, mm. attacking lineup. And so, no place for Madison, you reckon? Uh, James Madison, I think fitness wise, um, although he did play in the EFL Cup on what, 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 what night was that? Wednesday. Um, yeah, I think he's still carrying uh, some sort of injury from last season. So, I think he, he's probably probably fit, but. I don't think he's going to start. That's my that's my prediction. I don't think he'll start. Yeah. Um, it's on your okay. channel. Is it yeah. John Gro John Grogan John, said John Grogan? Yeah, that would he, would I like Riyad Mahrez back? <laughs> Riyad, he, Riyad is Mahrez is he being cheeky? Riyad Mahrez. Um, now he, on, he give, give us your give us your honest thoughts on Riyad Mahrez. Okay, as a Leicester fan, I've seen him come into the club when we were lower down. We brought him from nowhere. Was it Le Havre for a, a, a cool 500 grand, right? And after we'd won the Premier League and did the Champions League, it's almost like everything that we did for him didn't exist, including his fans, including his fans forgetting where he came from, which was from some dodgy side out of nowhere. And we brought him in and turned him into this spectacle of a player yes he does that himself as well because he's a talented lad but we helped him get there and he just the way he acted to get out of the club will, will never be forgotten he really? has ta he's tainted his legendary status at the club for acting like a wow. baby marty wow. mores marty mores the problem is he brings fans with him algerian fans and if you say if you don't say anything positive if you don't say anything positive about him if you don't, don't say anything there. no i will i'll go there. if you don't say anything positive about him you'll get attacked for days yeah. on end and my social media has been attacked thousands of times by these oh, geezers yeah. i i am will not change my mind he is a marty bastard he's Excellent. in it he's in it for himself he's in it for himself nothing else he's in it for you himself you he's not a team player He's not a team to, player. You don't have to tell me about Mara's fans. However, trust, trust however <laughs> going back to the comment, I would take him back based on his the way he is. He is a phenomenal player. And when he's on it, he's on it. When he's on it, he's on it. But he's lazy. He don't defend that and he needs it, yeah. and he's a bloody good defender sitting behind him. The only reason why he did so well at Leicester is because he had Angolo Kante behind him and Ndidi as well. Yeah. That's the only reason. Is, I mean, we've had so many discussions over Riyad Mahrez. Uh, so there you go. There's my 50 pence on Riyad Mahrez. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. But boom, there you go. Is well, I mean, I, I, it wasn't a player I wanted at City. Uh, I think he's a luxury player, uh, especially playing in a position where he plays for us. He plays right wing. And, and for you, he played in an eight, a deeper role that, and he went forward and was exceptional. Uh, really, really good. Um, but for us, he's not a winger for me because he's so one-footed. Doesn't beat a player, cuts back in, and but you can't you can't deny his stats last season. They were, they, his stats, were, his goal and assists were exceptional. Very, very good. Uh, but. Onto the Maris fanboys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've so like, yeah, I've just read. I'm re yeah, I'm reading yeah. the comments out like Sam Elliott yeah, yeah. says. I hope he gets one against you now. I, I, I'm not knocking him as a player. He's a fantastic player, but he's up here isn't. That's mm. the thing. Yeah. He will go well, against you boys when he wants to go. When he wants to, when he wants to move, <laughs> he'll do the same thing. He will do the same thing. He'll, he left his own international side, Algeria. He pissed off to an airport to try and get a transfer. Well, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I don't. Think but they forget that, that Andy. They forget I, that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. Th I don't think Mares will be leaving us. I think, if anything, City will get rid of Mares before he leaves us. If I'm being honest with you. But uh, listen, he is a very exceptional talent. Uh, but he is. He is. He, he comes yeah, with baggage. He comes he, with baggage. He, I'm telling is you. Is he has brilliant games or he has really poor games and that that's uh, sometimes the problem but uh uh yeah everyone's uh, <laughs> what, 
would rather have Martin on the wing than Mares. <laughs> Martin's one of our presenters. But uh, uh, anyway, listen, uh, any final thoughts uh, before we go? Uh... No, I, to be honest with you, I, my rant has tied me out now. I'm I'm more than <laughs> I'm more than done on that. That's my I'm glad I got that off my chest. Um, well, we'll 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 be the ones because it's on our channel. We'll 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 have them all back on below with all the comments and things like that. But that's fine. You can highlight that for all you want. But um, no, if anyone that's if anyone wants to watch me do the watch long show, I'm doing it on Sunday. Uh, you could flip between me and Andy on our reactions to the to the game because I will be doing yeah. it live at half yeah. four. Well, twenty past four. I'll be live on my channel. My channel is Lee Chappy. Just search yeah. Lee Chappy. You'll find me. And uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, we'll we'll, <clears throat> we'll be live as well doing a watch along, so uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll no doubt try and uh, cross over, have a chat with you, see what what's going on. Um, somebody's just put a uh, uh, great preview, fellas. Thank you, Iona Beats, mate. Sorry, we've not had a chance to read out all your messages and uh, your chats because it's a quick one tonight. But uh, Martin's just said he's doing a watch along on Sunday for us, so. Um, Nice to meet you, sir. Lee Chappie says... Noah, that. thank you, mate. Yeah, it's cool, man. I enjoy doing Go. this sort of stuff. And there we have it. 3-1. I'm going 3-1. Pineapple on pizza. He's talking a load of bob. Anyway, Leicester will win 3-1 on Sunday. Hit the subscribe button. Like, share, follow me at Lee underscore Chappie. Go over and find them at... Uh, I think it's Man City Fan TV on Twitter and Instagram as well. Uh, and they're on YouTube in the descriptions. Click, 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 click. I shall see you Sunday. Ciao.